Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert a Dreamweaver template-based site to a theme-based site using Design Extender, and we'll talk about why you'll want to do that. To follow the steps in the tutorial, you'll need to just make sure you have Design Extender installed. But first I'm going to show you uh, how I would make a change to a template and the fallbacks of doing that. So I have a placeholder div right here in my template file that I want to go ahead and change to an image. And let me add a link. Okay, now when I go ahead and save my template, it's going to ask me if I want to update all of the files based on this template. And of course I do, but you can see the problem this presents. Now I have to republish all of these pages to my site. So say I was halfway through working on changes to one of my pages um, and was not ready to upload it, um, I would have to make a choice whether to make this change or wait for that change. Um, and then you're sort of blindly making updates to all of your pages, the actual runtime code on all of your pages. So that's kind of the problem with templates. Here I'm going to go ahead and click update. So I'll show you instead how to change your site to a themed site. The first thing is make sure you are using a PHP site. So your Dreamweaver template is a PHP file and all of the files that you want um, based on that theme or that template um, are also PHP files. If you're using Design Extender's site building engine, then um, something you can do is when you're setting up your site, when you, when you set up your server, you want to go into the advanced mode and make sure you cho choose PHP MySQL as your server, server model. And then um, when you're using the site building engine, it'll automatically go ahead and build all of those as PHP pages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change this template to a theme instead. So make sure your template's open. Go ahead and click Web Assist. Framework Builder, Themes, Create Theme. And I'm going to say yes, I want to apply to all pages that use this template. And you can see it going through all of my files making these updates. The theming engine is done running. I've got my template open. Let's say I want to make a change now and I'll show you the difference. Let's say we want to change uh, the style on this. I'm going to go ahead and change the padding from 60 pixels to 40 pixels and go ahead and shrink up that header. Now I'll go ahead and click Save. And notice it does not ask me to update my files. So you no longer have to update all of the individual pages. It's using more of the includes or plugin concept, which means the individual pages know how to use the code from this template, but it doesn't proliferate that code onto every individual page. The other thing I wanted to show you is that all of your sub pages based on the template will look more empty in design view. The shell won't be there because of this concept but they will look fine in a browser. Here's my events page. You can see um, all of my content in the editable regions has, is still sitting there, but you don't see the shell of the site, the template part of the site because of this plugin concept. So don't be surprised about that. When you toggle over to a browser, the file still looks normal. So I'll go ahead and preview in a browser. And you can see everything is um, still loading from the template and from those editable regions. So your site looks great, it's just a lot easier to maintain. So going back to Dreamweaver, um, one other thing I want to mention is that you, if you're using um, the Power CMS tools in Design Extender, when you open that page for the first time after applying the theme, um, you may need to reload your content. So I'll open a page I haven't opened yet. And you can see it says content area not found. If you click on that, and then in the property inspector, click reload content. 
all your content will be pulled back in. Sometimes Dreamweaver just needs that little refresh to go get that content. So that's it, essentially. You can make all the changes you want to your template and uh, the, the web assist files that have put in your site know what to do with it so that you don't have to republish all of your individual pages. All you have to push up is your DWT file. You can see there's a lot less risk to making changes to a site this way. The larger the site, the bigger the risk to have a DWT based site and the more uh, time and energy you'll save by using the theming engine. As always, visit us at www.webassist.com for more information or for technical support. Thank you.